Salutations. Today, let's talk about the quantum hologram and the UFO, and kind of what I think a lot of people are seeing, what I've experienced, and I'm gonna try to tie this theory together along with what I've seen the best that I can, all right? Um, actually, the quantum hologram, okay, we're gonna bring into the focus with that what's called the Mako, all right? And that's been discussed by Rudy Shields quite a bit and some of the other astrophysicists, all right? The Mako is the magnetic, ma magnetospheric, eternally collapsing object. And what that is, basically a type of new uh, black hole theory that they have right now. And what you have is when something goes into the black, into the, into the Mako itself, goes into the aperture, all right? There is a quantum hologram, an exact copy made of the object that went inside, a holographic copy. That is the quantum hologram, all right? That takes us also into what it's called quantum mechanics, non-locality, which is the ability of an object to know the exact, instantly the exact mass and makeup of another object from a distance that could even be light years. So that's something else we're, in, we're kind of incorporating here, okay? The Mako and also the quantum hologram, okay? And uh, what you're seeing, I think, when we have a lot of ships at the end, a lot of these UFOs and ships that we're witnessing are doing a frequency jump, all right? And when they go into the Mako, all right, there actually is that copy, that quantum hologram made when they're jumping into the wormhole, all right, that makes it appear like suddenly you see one UFO there, one ship, and then there's suddenly two, and then they're both gone, all right? There'll be one and they're both gone. But that is the, hol the quantum hologram you're seeing after the ship has made a frequency jump or entered one of these wormholes. So, so often we see these ships make a flash, we think, man, that must be like the Millennium Falcon, <clears throat> excuse me, when they actually went into light speed, they go boom, and they take off, but it was a flash of light, all right? So we think that's what these ships we're seeing in the sky must be doing. But actually that flash of light you're seeing is a jump in frequency. A lot of times it is them actually entering the aperture. So it leaves that quantum hologram there for a second, there's two ships, there's one, there's two, then there's one, and then they're both gone, all right? So that's part of what I think we're seeing here and how we can incorporate the quantum hologram into the UFO phenomenon that a lot of people are seeing every day. So it's something also to look for in pictures and any uh, short video clips to see if you see this quantum hologram, this uh, double projection that comes, all right? That's my understanding of it. Please don't attack. Uh, there's so many people that know so much more about this that are watching this now that can take this light years beyond me. But I can only try to correlate this information from what I've researched with my own personal experiences and what I see other people having also. So thank you very much for listening. God bless.